What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Super... Sorry, of Paper Mario 1000 Year Door. Not Super Paper Mario 1000 Year Door. That's on the Wii. We're playing on the GameCube. We're starting off with a battle. An easy battle if you have coops and some FP. And just like that, all the dull bones are out, and we're getting a whole bunch of eight, uh, star points just by defeating them. So that's always a plus in my book. Yes. You got a shine sprite. A mysterious, powerful object. Collecting these will help. And they will help tremendously down the road. Oh, Luigi, nice. I love Luigi and a whole bunch of shy guys just all around him. Ah, living his best life. Alrighty. Now we can get a little bit of puzzle coming in here. Um, to advance, we need to move this yellow block right there. To do so, we need to bring that small pur purple one down since it was activated. And before we do, let me... Let me see what's up there. I can't remember off the top of my head. Alrighty. No, I can't make that jump. Okay. Activating this switch right here. We'll turn the, the steps over. Which will allow us to grab the castle key to unlock the door to the next area. But we have to change the steps back over. I can't remember what's in this room. Oh, cool, it's a star piece, awesome. I thought it'd be kind of a bigger room, but nope, not at all. And of course, wow, okay, none of these guys are enemies. Nice, cool. Before we go up there, let's head in this room right in here. Have we never discovered a Koopa Paratroopa? That's a Koopa Paratroopa. Well, um, it's basically a Koopa Troopa with wings. Max HP is 4, attack is 2, and defense is 1. I kind of hate that this guy gets to fly. Of course, you can stomp on him and he'll plunge down and be a plain Koopa Troopa. Yeah, do that, and he's ours. Stomp again to flip him, and his arms and legs are useless. Oops, sorry, that's not true. It looks like he can still wiggle them around a bit. I cannot believe we never tattled on a, on a para... Troopa. Wait, was it Paratroopa Koopa? Yeah, no, just Paratroopa. I'm just kind of blown away by that. I thought we did, but I we must not have. Let's take care of the Paragoomba, since we don't have to worry about it. And since they don't give us so much star points anyway. Oh, nice! My FP is full. And I'm gonna switch over back over to Koops. Nope. 
Alright, so we just lost a Shy Guy since he was stupid and wanted to throw stuff at me, so... Thanks, Shy Guy. Thanks. Yeah, just like that, the rest of this battle is actually just self-explanatory. I'm even surprised that the Koopa Troopers are giving us two star points. Thought it'd be like down just to one. I mean, I'll take it. Alrighty. Alright, I think that's all the enemies in this room, so that means we get to advance. It's about dang time. This timer goes off, or the switch is, is on a timer. So in having coops, we are able to go through it using this power up. Sorry, I was so fascinated by the chest. What the heck? Hey, guests, it's been a long time since anyone came here. A real long time. Huh, you heard me? Wow, wait a sec. If you can hear my voice, you must be some legendary hero or something. Or not. To be honest, I'm sure anyone with ears can hear me. But it sure is fun zinging people with that whole legendary hero bit. Hey, but seriously, folks, I was wondering if you could let me out of this chest. I've been locked in here so long, I'm starting to cramp up like you wouldn't believe. All you have to do is find the key and let me out. Easy. Huh? What do you mean? You think you'll be cursed if you open the box? Ridiculous. Who would do that, really? Wait in a box and curse folks? A real slime ball, that's who. But I'm not a real slime ball, and I would do no such thing. But that should be obvious. Look, if you help me out, maybe I'll help you out. You know, a little I scratch your back, you scratch mine, except in reverse order. Of course, you don't have to if you really don't want to. Like, finding a black key is hard. Alright, so to find this key, we have to go into this room. Yeah, you'll notice this dungeon-like area. We have to it's, you don't have to memorize this map, but it's best if you do. Open this chest. The black key, a strange black key, but what could it be for? Um, oh sorry, um, M Mario, L look at that. All right. Oh, I don't like the look of this. Come on, run. There's a crack in the wall there. We'll be back later on when we're able to get a certain character because this room does play an important role down the road. And of course, if you get smashed by the spikes from up above, it's pretty, I believe it's game over. I really don't want to find out for myself. Man, that was too close. Gotta shake it off. Who? okay, we got the keys. Let's go open that spooky chest. Before we do, let's switch over to Goombella. These are the dungeons of Hooktail Castle. I don't think they're in use, but yuck. Hey, you know, I was meaning to ask, have you mastered Koops' hold move yet? When Koops is with you, just press and hold X to make the shell stop ahead of you. You can even move around while it stays there. Try it out in different areas. Alrighty. Hey there, boy, I am so glad you found that key. Unbelievable. Wee hee hee hee. Fools. Why only the most idiotic pudding brain dolt would fall for a scheme like that. The castle's traps prevent anyone who's entered this place from ever leaving it. No matter which path you take, you're fated you're fated to waste away to a slow, painful end. But wait, there's more to this great deal. I'll throw in a free curse, no charge. Oogly boogly oogly googly boo. We <laughs> now you're cursed, doofus, and it serves you right. This curse is more cur cursely curse-worthy than any curse that's ever cursed you. Four, this curse makes you like a piece of paper when you press and hold R. <laughs> what a curse. Who curses like me? No one. Now I shall show you just how frightful a curse it is. Go on, press, press and hold R. Press and hold R now. <laughs> just look at yourself. How embarrassing for you. Eat a sandwich, skinny. <laughs> Do you understand what this curse means for you? 
time. Yes. The Pharaoh, you dumbbells. <laughs> this is probably the most important power up you will get in this game. Mario, and I believe Goombella too, yes, and your partners can turn skinny. This means you can go through these doors. You got attack FXR. Change the sound effects of Mario's attacks. So some of these badges you can save for cosmetics before cosmetics became pay to win. This is zero, of course, for badge points needed. Change the sound effects of Mario's attacks. Watch this. What does that sound like to you? An animal that begins with crit and ends with icket. So yes, this area is very important because we finally got Hooktail's, one of Hooktail's weaknesses. This is Hooktail Castle. You feel that upward moving draft in here? Wow, sure is a big castle. Who do you think built it? So many questions. All right, let's head up. You know what, that is a good question. Who did build this castle? I think that is a very, very important question. A question that would never be answered. It's locked, you can't open it. Hmm. Gotta head back down and go find the key. Oh, I also I love in this game you don't take any fall damage. I know that'd be stupid if you did, but kind of wouldn't surprise me that much. That's right. We have to head all the way back because in this area, back in here, notice how there's like kind of these bars. This one doesn't have the bars going horizontal. You got the castle key, a key that opens the door in Hotel Castle. And back to the locked door we go. Alrighty, with the key we are able to unlock this door and press forward. Yes, we definitely need to heal up. Let's hit the switch. And of course just makes a path right on over. I guess that they're just gonna keep making paths for us to kind of just walk on over before we continue on I saw a star piece outside here there we go and we can go the other way which we definitely need to do to move on forward I, I kind of I feel like they needed to add something so that small little corridor path is what we got it was the answer to what we needed. Alrighty, any more enemies? Nope. I don't mind grinding in this game. I kind of wish these dull bones were enemies. All of them were. Not just paragoombas. Come on. Oh, wow, okay. I was surprised that he was an enemy. I was not expecting him to at all move because we got close to him right before we went up against the Paragoomba and he didn't move like at all. So I'm very surprised that he even moved right there when we got right next to him. Kind of shocks me a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Huh? Oh my, who's this handsome piece of cheese? I can't believe there are other thieves here besides me. How very strange. Hey, who are you? Me? Why, I'm Miss Mouse, the globe-trotting thief. Heard of me, sweetie? I heard there were rare and valuable badges here in this castle. That's why I'm here. But the real question is, why are people like you roaming in such a rundown place? Um, well, you see, we're here to beat Hooktail and get the, um, Crystal Star. 
So, don't think we'll let you get the Crystal Star first, no matter how cute you are. Crystal Star, you say? Hmm, <laughs> I didn't know a thing like that was hidden in this castle. Sounds intriguing. Perhaps I just heard something you didn't want me hearing. <laughs> Darn. Where to go, Coops? Where to go? Oh, but that's okay. I mean, you were looking for this Crystal Star first. And I already found the badge I was after, so I'll let you get the, your Crystal Star. Um, hey, what's that supposed to mean? Gives Mario a big ol' smoosh. <laughs> it means I must say bye-bye for now, Mr. Cutie. I know it's sad, we just met, and already it is time to say farewell. Alas! Oh my, you're so bold! Is that legal? Oh, I almost forgot, I have a little secret to share with you. Somewhere in this castle is a badge that I hope you best of tales or so I've heard. I don't know what kind of badge it is. Maybe you found it already, maybe not. If you're going to find Hooktail, I recommend finding that badge first. Well, take care, handsome mustache man. Let's get together again real soon. I wonder where her story is. I bet it's an interesting one. Full romance. Alrighty, Coops, thanks. Alright, Mushroom. Castle Key. Shine Sprites. Honey syrup, nice. And of course, there's not gonna be any badges in here because Miss Mouse already took the badges. Or the one that she was looking for. Yeah, we should be getting a whole lot closer to Hooktail. And finally, we got a level up. We need to upgrade the fire, uh, fire, sorry. Flower points, that's what we need to upgrade. Because that desperately needs to go up since we're losing quite a bit of them. Alrighty, since now leveling up. Oh my gosh, there's now a lot of enemies. I know earlier I said that I kind of wanted, wanted there to be more enemies. Yeah, I wasn't really expecting it to actually come true. Oh, okay. I, I, I know what to do. We can't, of course, jump from there to there, so we have to do it all over again to move up. And yeah, this is probably the best thing to do. And we have a star piece over there, so let's try and move over there to go get that. Is there anything else? No, I'm very surprised that there's nothing back there. Oh, no. Alright, be very careful. I don't want to fall off. Move forward, move forward. There we go. Now we get to move back. Gotta be very careful. Alright, cool. There we go. I thought, I thought we were going to mess up there. I was like, no. No. All right, cool. Grab the key. Jump back down and get this badge. And I'll be honest, in the next episode, we're going to start all the way back up to where we just dropped down from. And it should be up against Hooktail or making the final preparations to go against Hooktail. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Have a nice day.